Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and I'm super, super, super excited because uh, Cookie Run Kingdom just posted a tweet saying, Breaking news, a very peculiar cookie cutter has been discovered. What's going on in the cookie kingdom? Mm, hashtag coming soon. Uh, okay, sorry, I was being funny, but I, I'm actually super excited because the picture is actually like a Mickey or mini cookie, probably Mickey, uh, cookie cutter with the cat, the cookie run kingdom castle, which means it is most likely gonna be a crossover. And at first, I thought it was gonna be like a show on Disney Plus or something. I don't even know. I was a little confused until two like Cookie Run Kingdom uh, creators uh, said that it was gonna be a crossover. So that's really exciting. Also, if, I I I better see and it's a small world in this update or event or whatever. And I want them to make. The it's a small world clock talk and make it a mail. It better be a mail. Okay, I'm just I'm just kidding. I actually do make the clock a mail for some reason. I don't even think it has a gender, but it probably doesn't. But I just pretend that it's a mail in a way. But I would love to see it's a small world in this event. It probably won't happen. I don't know if it will. If it does, I'm gonna be super hyped. But I kind of doubt that'll happen. But uh, I'm still really excited for this. Even if there's no it's a small world, I'm still going to be super happy. So, my predictions are there's going to be, like, two new cookies. There's not going to be, like, Donald, Pluto, Daisy, or whatever. They're probably going to be NP NPCs, I think that's what it's called. But they're not going to be, like, real cookies. That's probably what they're going to do. Um, and there's going to be Minnie, Mickey and Minnie that you would have to, uh, that you, that you can get. Even though I've been trying to get Sonic and Tails from last event, and it was literally impossible. And it was impossible for a lot of people, actually. And I just hope this event won't be so hard if there's going to be any battles and stuff. And I think the battles should be the Disney villains from Disney. I think they should do that, because that would be super, super cool. And there could be, like, Ursula or whatever her name is at the end, like, the boss. Which I think would be really cool. And... I think Mickey and Minnie or whatever would, like, teleport them to where they, all the Disney characters live and stuff. That would be super cool. Also, Disney is, like, super nostalgic to me. So, the fact that they're adding it in a cookie game is, like, really, really cool. So, I cannot wait for this. Anyway, I'm going to show you the image right here. So, this is the image right here. And there's the Cookie Run Kingdom Castle. I don't even know why I thought it was Minecraft, but <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was Minecraft. I thought it was Minecraft at first, but uh, yeah, I just found it skeptical. Like, why would it be Minecraft with a dis with a Mickey or Minnie cutout thing? Like, why? And I look closer, and it doesn't look like Minecraft at all. So I guess this is just a normal castle for Cookie Run Kingdom. It looks pretty cool. So, yeah, um, this might be a crossover. I'm just super excited if it is, like, and I swear, if I see Chili Pepper Cookie bullying Custard or any other character in this update, I'm going to punch her face and put her all the way to the moon be because I just hate her so much. I hate her personality. I hate her. I, I hate her more than Muscle Cookie. I hate her more than any other cookie. I only hate Muscle Cookie a little bit because he's kind of weird. But I don't, I don't have, I don't hate him with a burning passion. But Chili Pepper, I hate her with a burning passion. That's why I make constant creepy pauses about her because I feel like her personality would be chaotic, mean, evil, and whatever. I don't think evil, but still, she's kind of evil. <laughs> Let's admit, she's kind of evil. But yeah. And she's also mean to Wizard Cookie. If she's mean to Wizard Cookie, I'll throw up, into, uh, uh, up to the moon too. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm really hyped for this. I'm super hyped for this. I wonder when this is going to come out. Like, in like August or late July? I don't know. Probably August. Probably not late July because they already did an update. But, yeah. Um, And I also have another thing to show you. Um, okay, so normally I would- It's this, uh, this, uh, the new tie-dye Springtrap plush, and I kind of have mixed opinions about it, 
first of all, there's so much printing on this plush. I don't even know why there's so much printing. Um, the belly stuff, whatever it is, looks detailed, but still, I don't, I don't know why it's printed on. The color scheme is not the best either. It looks kind of like a, like, the design kind of looks like spring trap, but, like, more light green and, and weird looking. I, I just don't like it. Like, it just looks weird. It kind of, it kind of matches spring traps colors, but it's, like, really, it's, like, way too light and yellowy and stuff. And I don't know if this is just me, but, like, the torso looks like a different shade of green for some reason, which looks really weird. And this isn't even tie-dye. The other FNAF plushies look tie-dye-ish. This does not look tie-dye looking. I don't know if the torso has tie-dye, but this does not look tie-dye to me, to be honest. I wish they chose better eyes than the eyes you see when the suits go in spring lock mode or whatever. I wish they chose better eyes. Because it, it just looks weird with the eyes they currently have. I wish they did, like, spring trappy looking eyes. And, yeah. I don't know. Um, would I say this is better than normal spring trap plush? That's a very controversial thing that's going on in the fandom right now. Um, probably yes, because... Okay, I'm sorry, but the head shape looks a lot better. The teeth look better. And I, I don't really fully... Uh, understand what spring trap looks like because i don't have spring trap and i only my sister has spring trap so i don't know what he looks like i forgot so yeah um he's the, the spring trap plush is not that great though so yeah and the funniest thing i heard about this plush is that when the the per like the person said oh it deserves to be a walmart exclusive because so people won't get it easily because it's so bad um now it's like really funny i don't think this is like a super horrible plush but i just think it would have been a bit better also crest focus pizza Rio and love five for the disney x cookie run kingdom crossover video but I do kind of admit, Pogo is a bit overreacting. I'll make a video on this, but Pogo just revealed this, and I have to say, this is the ugliest plushie I've ever seen in my entire life. This is a thousand times worse than the Vanny plush. This completely looks like some bootleg, ugly spring trap plush. Yeah, he uh, he could have said a some good things about it, but all he said was like, it's bad, it's, wor it's the worst, and stuff. I don't hate Pogos, but... That's a that's kind of overreacting to be honest. So, yeah, I'm not trying to be rude, but he's kind of overreacting on this plush. Also, people are being mean about this plush. They're opinion bashing people and stuff. I already saw two people that did it. I don't know if there's any more people, but trust me, the FNAF fandom is really bad too. It just wasn't bad enough to make me quit. I mean, yeah, people were toxic me in the fandom, but it's not as bad as the Cookie Run Kingdom fandom is. It's just, it's still bad though, but yeah. Anyway, that's basically it. Uh, I actually have a lot of FNAF news to go over, but I just slapped off because I didn't want to do any news videos for a while because I was just taking a break off it. But I might, I might do it like maybe in like two days or something. I don't know. Also, guys. Um, we might be able to go to Bucky's tomorrow, so I'm gonna get Beanie Boos or whatever. Um, yeah, my Beanie Boo phase is kind of coming back a little bit. Um, because I found Sherbert, Beanie Boo, and stuff, and the, 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 the phase is kind of coming back. Because I wasn't really into Beanie Boos that much. But I still, like, watch Beanie Boo videos and channels and stuff. I just wasn't really into my Beanie Boo toys. But, yeah, that's basically it. Wait, guys, hold on. I have something to show you. I can do something really bizarre. Look at that. It doesn't hurt, guys, but look at that. Sorry, that's really blurry, but I'm going to try, try doing this and then it's more clear. There you go. Okay, that's better. Look at that, guys. It does not hurt at all. But it looks like I'm breaking my finger. I've been doing this my whole life. I just never shown it on YouTube or in front of my parents. So, yeah. Look at that.
also guys um this is kind of um really random to say but um my dog pork chops going to have to get an ultrasound scan thingy because his like liver numbers are low i forgot what it's called i'm not a doctor the, to me it's, to me doctor stuff is just gibberish but whatever even though I literally am interested in medical stuff, and I learned about cardiac arrest, heart attacks, and yet I don't know what liver numbers mean, what those liver numbers mean. But, yeah, I remember watching medical stuff when I was younger, and I got in so much trouble. I watched, like, those operation videos, and I, I had to watch YouTube Kids. I actually grew up on old YouTube, but then I had to watch YouTube Kids, and, oh, it was, it was not that good. So glad to be on youtube so yeah anyway that's basically it um so i just hope it's nothing like too serious that's going on with port my dog so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in the next video bye